Oh, I'm driving across the ocean in my big pirate ship. Okay, so and my fancy band and today we're going to continue our pirate project some pies and go over I'm how we made and that's what I do this pirate oh, ship oh, real oh, good oh, lord. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, matey. And the very first thing I did in this ever-expanding pirate project was drag out my Proxon foam cutting table and my circle jig, and then I cut some foam circles. This looks like foam core. It is foam core. And before we started this, I wasn't sure how I was going to build it, but I was pretty certain I wasn't going to construct it out of wood. I think if you had the right tools... Yeah, even with the correct wood cutting tools, I feel very confident I would have lost a finger. Oh, At no. least one, possibly two. <laughs> so foam it is. We still get the circle parts, mm -hmm. and I get to keep all my digits. Okay, so then you stacked the foam like pancakes mm -hmm. and glued it all together. Yeah, then back onto the jig to cut more circles. With this project, mm -hmm. the circle cutting never really ends. It's like the words of that old pirate sea shanty. Is there a sea shanty Ooh, about? We're like a circle in a spiral, <laughs> like a wheel within a wheel. Is there a sea shanty? <laughs> a never ending or beginning, like a never spinning That's not a sea shanty. shanty. <laughs> it could be a shanty. It very well could be a shanty. It has some shanty qualities. <laughs> no one under 70 is going to know that song anyway. Here's some woodworking. Mm -hmm. Some dremeling. You know, I was going to use the Dremel as a makeshift lathe and file out all the spokes I needed. Mm -hmm. But my plans changed on this when I couldn't fit the dowel into the Dremel. Uh -huh. And it was just too difficult to work in reverse. So I made a couple rudimentary spindles and detailed them with some epoxy sculpt. And then... And then we got to try out molding and casting for the very first time. We did. But we've been looking for a reason to try it. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of folks will sculpt something beautiful or intricate, and they mold and cast it so they can share it with others. But we use the process in a very utilitarian way. We needed, what, eight copies mm -hmm. of two different objects? Yeah. And they had to remain fairly consistent down the line. So making a mold seemed like a logical solution. Yeah, so we mixed and poured the silicone. And then, then we, we couldn't find any casting resin. Right? Everyone was out. It was all sold out. So we used some of our clear resin. Used it all up. Yeah, and then we found some casting resin. Mm -hmm. Finally. <laughs> so the spindle colors are mismatched. But, but the shapes are consistent, mm -hmm. and we were going to paint over them anyway. Right. And besides, these are for a dead skeleton pirate. Do you think he cares? Yeah, yeah, no. He'll probably be cool with it. And speaking of skeleton pirates, as we often do, mm -hmm. this is the Helmsman watercolor we did a little while ago that started this whole thing off. Yeah, and here's the skeleton we modified to look like your watercolor. And now that you're working on this ship's wheel, it might lead one to believe we're headed somewhere with all this. Well, we might be. You see, the work continues on the ship's wheel, specifically the center part of the wheel that spins around the axle. Mm -hmm. The thing to keep in mind about this wheel, by the way, yeah. uh, it is not in any way constructed at all like an actual ship's wheel. Oh, right. It is not made of the same materials, the parts and pieces are not attached to each other the way they are on an actual ship's wheel. Right. Fans of pirate ship wheels who see this video <laughs> may in fact be enraged <laughs> at my apparent ignorance. Yes. But my goals were simple. I wanted to make it look like a realistic, old, weathered, waterlogged, wooden mm. ship's wheel. Right. And I wanted to make sure it would rotate around the axle. Now, I think the texture you're dragging into the foam will give it the appearance you're aiming for. I think so. But why did you need it to spin on the axle? Uh, no reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's not like it controls a ship uh, right, or that right, it right. needs to spin. <laughs> I just thought it would be cool uh, if it could spin. Did making sure it would spin cost you any extra time? Oh, without a doubt. Oh, no. a absolutely. <laughs> Adding in that useless functionality <laughs> right. definitely doubled the time it took to make this. That is an amazingly efficient use of studio time. Right? Employee of the month. <laughs> I'm nominating you right now. You know that if I had made that wheel stationary uh -huh. and then showed it to you, the first thing you would have asked was, does it spin? So don't even come You're at right. me with that. You're right. <laughs> the outside spokes of this wheel weren't going to stay in place with just glue. Okay. So I drilled a hole in them, added a toothpick, and sunk the whole thing down into the foam of the wheel. And and that's what I mean. This thing isn't put together like a real ship's wheel at all. Mm. But hey, it spins. 
Oh, hey, I was researching the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and I found something interesting. Okay. I think in the video for the Helmswin watercolor we did, mm -hmm. I think we talked about how when the ride first opened, some of the skeletons in the attraction were actual human skeletons. I think Walt would have wanted it that way. <laughs> well, he may have. <laughs> Apparently, the reason they used real skeletons, according to this article, is, quote, due to the lacking quality of fake skeletons of the day, end quote. All right. All right. So they were going for believability, like we are with the wheel. Mm. They wanted it to look real. Okay. I can back that. I'll back it. Yeah. But here's the part I didn't know. Okay. Not only was one of your favorite skeletons, the helmsman. The helmsman? One of the pirates that originally had an actual human skeleton. And a boy. But while many of the original skeletons were phased out for more realistic props, uh -huh. parts of the original bones are still present in the current figures. What? Huh? What? Uh huh? Ah, yeah, well, I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess, pe people will their bodies to science all the time. Yeah. Right. I didn't realize you might be able to will your body to entertainment. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I guess it might be worth considering at some point. I would turn I your ribcage into a xylophone. Huh? You're very musical. Don't, you can't. Don't. Don't make plans for my bones. <laughs> I'm not willing my bones to you. <laughs> So now you're putting it all together. Yeah, and aside from the resin spokes, the plastic gems, and a small wooden dowel for the axle, mm -hmm. this is entirely made out of foam. I think it looks pretty good. Well, that was one of my goals, but let's take a closer look. I like the colors. Well, you know, I didn't want it to look boring. Right. So I tried to make it look like maybe different types of wood or wood that had aged differently. The spokes of the wheel look good. It looks like a believable wheel. Well, as you know, that is one of my two criteria for this being a successful build. Right. Believability. <laughs> I coated it with a varnish that would make it look a little wet. I wanted it to look like it had been out at sea, you know, sprayed with mist. Wow, the rust detail on that. Yeah. It does look like a rusty piece of metal. It does. But there's one more bar this has to clear. And there it is. It spins. <laughs> it never needs to spin. It spins! <laughs> but I know it makes you happy, so congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'd call that a win. And as a little hint about where this project is leading, here are a couple more props we made. I can't wait to show everyone. Can the devil be done for? Oh, what's a walk? Is that a new lantern in Room Barrel? How did you know it was me birthday? Who squeal? Which one of you? Was it you, Stumpy Joe? Ah, you scurvy dogs! You all horn swoggled me. Boy, are my cheeks red. I'll tell you something. <laughs> okay, so the helmsman's happy. He is. <laughs> but keep an eye out for the finale to this project. Yeah, I think people are going to enjoy the final installment. I think so. 